Okay, well it was taken two years ago in the Val d'Orcher in Tuscany and it was such a fantastic morning that the entire group remember it as that dawn and if we mention it, anyone says the words that dawn, we all know what we were talking about. It was just spectacular. Well, I went on the first ever light and land trip to the Lake District, which Charlie led as a paying client. And then I went on a few more and we went to Tuscany and I went to the first trip abroad in Tuscany. And we had such a good time that we said to Charlie, will you organise something else for us? We all want to go again, which he did. But in the end, two people couldn't make it and consequently there were some spaces and so I got a phone call from Sue Bishop saying um, there's this bloke called Clive, we met him in Venice, he's all right honest, would you mind sharing a room because there aren't enough rooms where we're going. <laughs> so that was how Clive and I met on, our, on uh, a light and land trip to Andalusia in 1997. Subsequent to that we ended up running our first tour together in 2002. Well I've actually led 106 tours for light and land now in the last 16 years and of those about 80 have been with Clive. Um, I do have a Clive filter built into my brain which means that I don't have to listen to everything he says all the time because I've always heard it before. <laughs> but um, we have a lot of fun together, we get on well, we know how each other works um, and for me the, the support we get from the, the office and everything, that's everything to me. I don't want to be spending my time doing all that stuff. I love leading tours, that's what I enjoy doing and that's what I continue to do.